What is up, people on the internet? JQL here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm doing a custom uh, LEGO minifigure showcase video on my custom Doctor Strange figure from the movie Doctor Strange. And uh, yeah, I decided not to make any more characters from the movie because one, I'm not a, I'm not too familiar with Doctor Strange. Like I know who he is and all that, but uh, I I don't know everything about him like other characters from the Marvel universe. And uh, yeah, so I decided not to make like all the other side characters in the movie. I, I, mean, I don't know that you can consider them side characters, but you get my point. So yeah, uh, let's just get started with the showcase video. Alright, here's my Doctor Strange figure. I worked pretty hard on them. I actually finished them like a month ago, probably even longer than that. But yeah, so basically, first of all, I'm going to get this out of the way. His accessories are these little disc pieces, which are from the Lego group, uh, it's their printed disc pieces with all these, like, little writings. I really don't know what it says. So, yeah, I don't think anyone does. But, you know, I, I gave him these from the Lego set. And real quick, I just want to compare my figure to the Lego group's figure. And between the two, not being biased or anything, I think I prefer mine a little more. But the Lego group still did a very good job with their figure. I think it looks awesome, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, on back to my figure. You basically, you'll see that I used a uh, Legolas face from uh, Lord of the Rings. And uh, yeah, the reason why is because I didn't want to repaint my own head because I didn't see the point. Because, I actually, no, it's not because I didn't see the point. I'll be honest with you guys. I was lazy. So yeah, removing the head and the hair piece, which, by the way, is a Superman hair piece from Batman v Superman with the gray painted sideburns. I'm going to remove this figure one uh, piece by another. Uh, while talking about it, you'll see he has three individual K pieces. First of all, the one that uh, you see right here, it's basically, I made that myself uh, using a template from the Martian Manhunter cape, uh, second cape, that's it, that is. And uh, the other two actually stuck together for some reason, I don't know why, probably because I painted uh, the top part uh, while uh, attached to this big cape. So these two capes came from the Custom Lego Minifigure uh, Series 13 line, the Queen of England, I think. Actually, I think it was Series 14. I don't know, but um, it had such a big cape, I thought it looked great. So I decided to use it on my Doctor Strange figure. I definitely think it looks awesome. And yeah, uh, onto the torso. I don't know if you could see that, but there we go. Uh, here you see the Eye of Akamoto is on his uh, torso. It's a 3D piece that I just glued on there. And I also painted on the necklace that you see that goes all the way around. And so that way it looks like it's on his, around his neck. And yeah, you'll also see the torso, the arms, the legs, the 3D part right here. Uh, and the paper that I used to represent uh, more straps are all fully painted. They're all fully painted. Really proud of this uh, minifigure. I think it turned out really awesome. I also painted his wrist um, blue there. Because uh, why not? And also, I also painted his shoes. You can see there. His boots. The legs are pretty self-explanatory. Explanatory, my bad. Words. And, uh, yeah. So, while I'm putting him back together, uh, I just want to say, uh, I'm not too familiar with Doctor Strange. I think I already said this already in the beginning of the video. But, uh, uh, I'm not too familiar with him. Uh, but I do know the basics. Like, I know all the characters in the movie. I know who they are and all that. But, yeah, so if you guys have anything you want to say about Doctor Strange, leave in the comments down below what's your favorite thing about Doctor Strange, uh, other than his magic, obviously, because that's, like, his powers and abilities and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for my Doctor Strange figure, and, yeah, I guess we'll just wrap up this showcase. so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this showcase video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not. If you want to keep up with me, I always post on Instagram, Twitter, and Flickr. Links down below in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys liked my uh, Doctor Strange figure. And thank you for those who stuck around and listened to my uh, complaint, rant, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just, you know, it's I already explained it in the uh, explanation earlier why I've uh, been so busy. I mean, some people might say I'm not too busy because I've been making figures left and right that I have a lot of time, but it's not true. I really do have to work around the clock. And some figures I finish early, just that way I have them done and ready to post. Like Doctor Strange here, I had him ready for like a month ago. Maybe even longer than that. But yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, do every 
uh, make sure to follow me on my social media sites, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Can't wait for Doctor Strange. Um, and yeah.